Now let us discuss about the second division which is Trans Himalayas. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the Trans Himalayas. So let me just begin. Now where do we find Trans Himalayas? The Himalayan ranges immediately to the north of the Great Himalayan range are the Trans Himalayas. Clear? Now this name is very important. Trans Himalayas are also called as Tibetan Himalayas because most of them are present in the Tibet region. And these are the ranges of the Trans Himalayas, the Saskar, Ladakh, Kailash and the Karakuram. So these are the ranges of Trans Himalayas. And in this video, we are going to discuss in detail about all these ranges. So let me just proceed. Now, the Saskar range. Next, you have the Ladakh range and Karakuram range. Now, the Kailash range is present in Tibetan region. It is completely present in the Tibetan region. Okay. Now, these are Great Himalayas. Okay. So, this range here is Great Himalayas. Immediately to the north of Great Himalayas, we have the Zaskar range and the Ladakh and Karakuram range. So, all these are part of Trans Himalayas, including the Kailash range, which is completely present in the Tibet region. Clear? So, I hope you get this. I hope you got this. Next. The Trans Himalayas stretch for a distance of about 1000 km in the east-west direction. And the average elevation of all the ranges in the Trans Himalayas is 3000 meter. We are speaking about the average elevation. Clear? Now let us also discuss about the width of the Trans Himalayas. The average width of this region at the eastern and western extremities is 40 km. And in the center, it is very wide. It is around 225 km. So I hope you got this. So you can consider the Trans Himalayan range to be like this. So at the extremities or ends, it is very narrow. Okay, it is only 40 km. But in the central part, it is very wide. It is around 225 km. Clear? Now, let us start discussing about the ranges and let us start with the first one which is the Zaskar range. So the Zaskar range separates from the Great Himalayan range near 80 degree east longitude and runs parallel to it. So near the 80 degree east longitude, the Zaskar range separates from the Great Himalayan range and then it runs parallel to it. To the north of Zaskar range and running parallel to it, we have the Ladakh range. Okay. Now, Ladakh range is about 300 km long and its average elevation is 5,800 meters above the sea level. Clear? So, I hope you understood these points. Now, near 80 degree east longitude, just imagine this to be the 80 degree east longitude and just imagine this as the Great Himalayan range. Now, at 80 degree east longitude, the Zaskar range separates from the Great Himalayan range and runs parallel to it. So this is the Zaskar range. Clear, right? And to the north of Zaskar range and running parallel to it, you have the Ladakh range. So just imagine this to be the Ladakh range. As simple as that. Okay. Now, the Kailash range in Western Tibet. We have seen the map right previously where the Kailash range is present. It is present completely in the Tibetan region. So, the Kailash range in Western Tibet is a branch of the Ladakh range. Okay. And its average elevation is 5,500 meters to 6,000 meters. And the highest mountain of the Kailash range is Mount Kailash, whose elevation is 6,714 meters. Now, let us also discuss about Lake Manasarovar, which is near Mount Kailash. So, Lake Manasarovar is close to Mount Kailash. So, Lake Manasarovar is a high altitude lake. It is at an elevation of 4590 meters above the sea level. So, you can just imagine it. So, it's a high altitude lake which is formed by the glaciers of Kailash range. Okay. So, Lake Manasarovar is formed by, is formed from the meltwater coming from the glaciers which are present in the Kailash range. And the lake is holy to Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism. And this is how Mount Kailash looks like. Clear, right? Now, proceeding. 
an image of Lake Manasarovar with Mount Kailash in the background. As you can see, it's a very, very beautiful place. So, let me just proceed. Now, again, this point is very, very important, guys. Rivers Indus, Brahmaputra and Sutlej originate from the glaciers and lakes near the Kailash range. Okay, so please keep this in mind. Some of the most important rivers, River Indus, Brahmaputra and even River Sutlej, they originate from the glaciers and lakes which are present near the Kailash range. Now, let us discuss about the Karakoram range. The northernmost range of Trans Himalayas is the Karakoram range. So, again, an important point you have to keep in mind. The northernmost range is Karakoram range. So, it extends eastwards from the Pamir Mountains for about 500 kilometers. So, if you just imagine these are the Pamir Mountains, from the Pamir Mountains, the Karakoram range extends eastward for 500 kilometers. Okay. Now, this range stretches across the Gilgit Baltistan, Ladakh, and Aksai Chin regions. Okay. And the average width of this range is somewhere between 120 to 140 kilometers. Now, what is so special about the Karokaram range? The Karokaram range is home to some of the largest glaciers in the world outside the polar regions. Okay. So, outside the polar region, it is here where you find the largest number of glaciers and the largest glaciers also. So, the Siachen Glacier at 76 km length and Bayafo Glacier at 63 km length, they rank as the world's second and third longest glaciers outside the polar regions. And Siachen Glacier and Bayafo Glacier are part of the Karokaram range. I hope you are understanding this. So, let me just explain this one more time. Now, Karokaram range contains some of the largest glaciers outside the polar region. Okay, so the largest glaciers in the world are present at the poles, North Pole and South Pole. So, outside these poles, it is at Karokaram range where you find the largest glaciers. Okay, so the examples are Siachen Glacier, whose length is 76 km, and Bayafo Glacier, whose length is 63 km. So, these two glaciers are part of the Karokaram range. Okay. And Siachen and Bayafo are the world's second and third longest glaciers outside the polar region. So, what is the first longest glacier outside the polar region? It is the Fetchenko Glacier, whose length is 77 km in the Pamir Mountains. So, Fetchenko Glacier is the longest glacier outside the poles. So, I hope you understood this. So, Siachen is not very far behind Fetchenko, right? Fetchenko is 77 km long and Siachen is only 76 km long. Okay. Now, Siachen Glacier and Bayafo Glacier, which are the world's second and third longest glaciers outside the polar region. These both are present in the Karokaram range. I hope you got this concept. Now, the Karokaram range is also home to very high peaks. Mount Ketu, whose elevation is 8,611 meters which is the world's second highest peak, is part of Karokaram range. Okay. So, the other peaks in this range, which are more than 8,000 meters, are Gashobram 1, Broad Peak and Gashobram 2. Okay. So, basically, Mount K2, Gashobram 1, Broad Peak and Gashobram 2. These are the mountains in the Karokaram range whose elevation is more than 8,000 meters. And of them, Mount K2 is the tallest. It is also the second highest peak in the world. We already know this, right? Now, just look at this statement. There are another 19 peaks in the Karokaram range who crossed the 7,600 meters elevation mark. So, on a whole, the Karokaram range is one of the, you know, highest mountain ranges in the world whose peaks are very, very tall. Clear? Now, the Ladakh Plateau lies to the northwest of the Karokaram range. Okay, so we all know about Ladakh, right? Ladakh, Leh, Siachen. So, all these towns are present on the Ladakh Plateau. And Ladakh Plateau lies to the northwest of the Karokaram range. Now, what is the special point about Ladakh Plateau? Ladakh Plateau has an average elevation of 5000 meter above the sea level. 
So Ladakh plateau is the highest plateau of India. So again, this is a very, very important point. So the thing you have to keep in mind is first Karokaram range is the northernmost range of Trans Himalayas. And Karokaram range is the home to some of the loftiest or tallest peaks in the world. So there are four peaks in Karokaram range whose elevation is more than 8,000 meter. And Karokaram range is the home to Mount K2, which is the second highest mountain in the world. Okay. And apart from that, the Ladakh plateau, it lies to the northwest of the Karokaram range. And the average elevation of Ladakh plateau is 5,000 meters above the sea level. So it is the highest plateau in India, the Ladakh plateau. Clear? Now, this is how Mount K2 looks like. Very beautiful, right? So just look at these sentences. Mount K2 is considered to be the deadliest and most difficult mountain to climb. So Mount K2 actually has a nickname. It is called the Killer Mountain because so many people have lost their lives trying to climb Mount, Ever Mount K2. So Mount K2 is considered to be the deadliest and the most difficult mountain to climb and approximately one person dies on the mountain for every four who reach the summit. Clear? So that is about the Trans Himalayas. So guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope you found this video useful and informative. And thank you so much for watching and I wish you all the best.